Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one we're going to be tearing down this 1968 F100 Ford Ranger and getting the frame ready for a QA1 racing suspension on it. Thanks for joining us. If you like the video, please subscribe, leave a like, hit that notification bell, and if you have any questions, please leave it down in the comments section. If you're interested on how we got this truck, I'm going to put the link to the original video in the description. Check it out if you're interested, and let's get into the video. I think what I'm going to do, take everything off the frame, take the frame, sandblast it, buy the QA1 rear four-link suspension coilover, buy the front QA1 independent front suspension, use power steering out of a Prius, and put a four-cylinder 2.3 EcoBoost with an automatic 10-speed in it. Here, check it out under there. Nasty. That says 360. Yeah, that's a 360 motor, not a 350. We're on it. It's pulling oil. Good. That's part of it, and that's the other part of it. Automatic transmission, when you pull this out, if you don't have a plug to slide in there, it leaks. This one is a manual transmission, so it's more like nasty rear end dope.
Wow. See that skirt right there? I've never seen that intact, or I don't remember it. I think that's to keep the fumes from out of the firewall area. But these are metal pins. I've never seen that. Let me see about knocking that out real quick. Yep. Yep. It's like new. I mean, really, it's it's like it was just pulled out of the factory. Mm -hmm. This is all original paint right here. The only thing that's wrong with this little surface rust. Yeah, and there's there's no holes. I didn't. Was there any holes over there on the floor? That that side's better than this side is. Really? That's surprising because somebody's always driving it, right? Man, I think we can just vacuum it out real good. I'll wipe it down with some acetone. Maybe wire wheel over there. It was already wire wheels. Um, wipe it down with some acetone. Get some of that rusted paint rust oleum and brush it on here and be done with it and the only reason i'm doing that is just to seal the rust and then i'm going to put uh, sound deadening on the bottom that headliner's in good shape isn't it mm -hmm. all right you ready to see your uh, rat fall out <laughs> Something. Oh, look out. Oh, wow. that on you. That'll make you sick. Get the bubonic plague or the black plague off of that. Alright, I called uh, Tate at QA1 last night and he sent me the link or he showed me on the web page where I can find a link for what to remove before we install their rear and front suspension kit for this truck. So what we need to do I need to get the whole rear end out for right now. So we can just cut the springs here, or we can cut the bolts, get the rear end, drop it out, get the exhaust out of the way. Um, the bed, we need to go ahead and get it off so we can figure out what's going on. So we got, what was it, six or eight bolts? Rusted, crusted, difficult to get to, horrible. So we're just gonna cut the bolts off with a torch, save some time, cut most of the stuff off of the suspension off with a torch. Because um, it's a real job if you don't. Trying to knock rivets out and stuff like that, we'll have to deal with that later. So we're about to get on it, torch this loose, and get going.
<laughs> Stinks too. Is that rubber or is that something? That's that rubber. That's why rubber is so dangerous. You see that? Yeah. It's the smoke is flammable. So there's the issue. You gotta take this bolt out. They're hard to get to. And you gotta take Six. this bolt out. Eight. Eight bolts. After we got the bed pulled off, we moved on to getting ready to bust out the rivets on the frame and get ready for a QA1 swap. If you're interested in any of the instructions that we used, I'm going to link them down in the description for the QA1 website if you're doing a project of your own or you're just interested. I'm going to link that in the description. Go check it out. And these yellow are the rivets that we have to cut out. And we have to take that bump stop off right there. So. What do we have, Ethan? 12 or 13? 26 all together. All right, so this is the driver's side. And we got to take off the passenger side as well. We have it marked you know, four there on down the line. And then also there is this emergency brake. So Tate says that the rivets can really be a job to get out. So we're gonna try a couple different methods. One thing we definitely don't wanna do is we don't wanna nick the frame and we don't wanna heat up the frame. So Brady, let's try with the grinder first. Do like you did on this other one and just kinda of cut a cross hatch in it and let's see if we can drive it through. Maybe with just a regular punch. Then we'll see how that one goes and if it doesn't go well, I have some other methods to do. Does that one work good? Go test it out, see how good it works. Ooh, works good. That takes way too long. Yeah, pin rob doesn't heat up the frame too much, but it's slow. Comes out easy. Oh, came out good. Yeah, it did real good. I mean, it's the, hot right here. That's it's it's warm. It's not. That's a needle right there. Yeah, it's not dangerously overheated, but I think we need to try another method. What do you think? Yeah. All right. So I can air chisel and knock that out. That's good. That's a lot better. All the heat. Yeah, that's better than the Henrob. The heat stayed in that bracket. This is the tip we're gonna be using, the hypertherm flush cut, 90 degree cutter.
after removing all the brackets and the rivets on the rear of the frame, we went ahead and moved on to the front, uh, still following the QA1 instructions as closely as we could, minus using the torch to cut off. wrecking crew got it ready for sandblasting hopefully tomorrow and then qa1 front and rear suspension man this was a job took half a day we tried our best not to use torches and cutters other than the grinder but we just couldn't do it but we were very care careful to keep the uh frame from getting hot we could always touch it with our hand and not get burned so it was not too hot um last thing we have to do Cut these two pieces back flush with the frame rails. We got everything out. Make sure that you leave the cab mount. There you have it. Look at that pile of mess back there. All that heavy scrap. All right, guys. turned out pretty good considering it was rusty. Pitted real bad. Thank you everyone for sticking around to the end of the video. Once again, if you're interested in checking out the original video for us pulling the truck out, link in the description, go check it out. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. It really helps us out with getting these videos out to y'all and constantly improving on our projects and our video creation it just really helps us out. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. We're going to try and get the suspension under this truck and hopefully get it roadworthy sometime in the future. Uh, once again, thank you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.